Hey guys, today we're going to do another everything you need to know, but this time it's about The Division 2. So this is the sequel to The Division, which was very popular. This is an FPS with RPG elements, and includes a lot of different game modes, including a campaign, a co-op mode, a PvP mode. So in the campaign, you try to save Washington, D.C. from the bad people that are destroying it. So you will have to kill a variety of enemies, some with really tough armor to get through, some with like snipers, different guns, but there will be a lot of different enemies and other dangers that you will have to look out for in the Washington DC campaign. Now this co-op mode, I assume you can just invite your friends on the, the campaign missions, because some of these get really tough and you'll need all the help you can get. So bring a friend, bring a random and then take down Washington DC together. Now there's also a PvP mode. So in case you get bored of the campaign and you get finished with it, and you don't want to play co-op campaign, you can always join the fight in the PvP mode, player versus player, and find out who is the best at shooting and being tactical in combat. So this is gonna be like your kind of Call of Duty style. Where it's like 5v5 or like 6v6, something like that. And you will basically try to destroy each other. I assume there's going to be a lot of different modes in this PvP. Such as like capture a point, kill a certain number of players, defend this area for the longest, and more. And they're probably going to update PvP a lot when the game actually comes out. By right, moving on to weapons and gear, Everything is customizable in this game, that's where the RPG elements come in. So there's a variety of weapons, armor, and cosmetic items, so you can actually customize your appearance to the way you like it. And then there's also more items available to high-level players, so when you reach the end game, that's when you can get all these unlockables that will allow you to further your abilities and weapons. So speaking of skills, each agent can customize which abilities or skills you want in the field, and each of these skills have very different playstyle. So first there's the assault drone, which can be controlled remotely, so you can send it out to kill an enemy that's hiding behind something, or it's just that's hard to get. This is very useful if you don't want to get in the fight, like if you don't want to just run out in the open and try to kill that one guy that's hiding, you can just send this assault drone to do the work for you. Next we have the Chem Launcher, which shoots a variety of chemicals that disperse upon impact. So it has various effects, because you don't know what chemicals it's using. So some effects include explosive vapors, or acids. And also, there's just some really good ones that affect your team positively, like repairing nanobots. So you can choose which chemicals you want to shoot, I assume. And it's basically good for any situation. So you can pick and choose which chemicals based on what kind of situation you're in. Next we have the Hive, which is more of a defensive skill. The offensive version is called the Wasp Hive. And this is where small drones are launched. Kind of like the Assault Drone, but it's a lot more smaller ones, and it's a lot more devastating to targets within a certain area. Finally, we have the Seeker Mine, which once activated, this mine locks onto the closest enemy in range. And it rolls along the ground and it detonates in, when it gets it. close enough. So this is very powerful for targeting a specific enemy, maybe, maybe someone that's doing very well, or an, a big giant armored target that is very hard to kill. I assume the seeker mine can get blown up itself if you shoot at it. So be aware you can't just use it and expect it to reach its target. 100% of the time. So now moving on to the end game, when you reach level 30, agents will be able to activate a couple of specializations within some classes and abilities and other things. Each one unlocks a unique weapon and additional skills that offer new ways to play in campaign, co-op, and PvP. But there's a couple of classes that you can unlock. First is the survivalist, which can control their surroundings using traps and status effects. This is more like a kind of hunter, like trapper kind of style. So you have, you use traps and poison and other kind of status to 
kill your enemies. They're equipped with a crossbow as their weapon, so if you really like crossbow, one shot, one kill, I assume, then this survivalist class would be for you. Next we have the demolitionist, which as it sounds, they blow up a lot of stuff. So their signature weapon is the grenade launcher, and their main goal is basically to disrupt enemy plans by causing a lot of explosions and other deadly weapons. Finally, there's the sharpshooter. So, their signature weapon is a sniper rifle. So if you like hanging back and shooting enemies from afar, this guy is for you. So you get that headshot with that sniper from, from an area where you're really safe, get that easy kill, and enemies won't even know where it hit them. Also, in the end game, there is new PvP, so you use your high-end gear in the PvP. So that's even more high-skilled play with each of these classes and new weapons that come in. There are new co-op activities, so there's brand new missions that you can unlock when you reach level 30. You can do these solo or co-op, I believe. And also, there are clans. So connect with other players and defeat other clans in PvP. So new content will be added regularly to the Division 2, and players will have access to a full year of free story-driven missions, expansions, and new game features. This game looks to be pretty good improvement on the Division 1. So if you like the Division 1, if you like a hardcore FPS, like Call of Duty, with some RPG elements, so you can choose classes, weapons, customizations, you might want to check this game out, as it is coming out March 15th, 2019. So let me know what you think about this game in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching.